The Starliner problem never gets any better. In fact, it keeps getting worse with each passing day. This ongoing issue is costing Boeing millions of dollars daily as they delay the return of astronauts. Recent reports about Boeing's losses, both financially and in terms of reputation, are terrifying for the company. Today we will dive into these details. But before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the latest information in the space world. When astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station on June 5, 2024, the plan was straightforward. They were supposed to test Boeing's newest spacecraft, the Starliner docked briefly with the International Space Station, and returned to Earth in about a week. Instead, a series of technical malfunctions has led to indefinite delays, with their return now pushed to mid-August at the earliest. This is not the first problem Boeing has encountered with the Starliner. The spacecraft has been plagued by issues since its development began. In its first uncrewed test flight in 2019, a software glitch placed the spacecraft in the wrong orbit, preventing it from reaching the International Space Station. The second attempt was scrubbed due to a faulty fuel valve. Other problems, including issues with parachutes and the discovery of flammable tape within the spacecraft, have caused further delays. The current mission, Starliner's third attempt, has faced significant hurdles. Engineers discovered multiple helium leaks in the spacecraft's thruster system during the 25-hour flight to the International Space Station. Additionally, several thrusters failed which delayed the craft's docking with the International Space Station's Harmony module and subsequently postponed its return to Earth. The spacecraft is currently docked to the International Space Station, as NASA and Boeing engineers work to resolve these issues. Engineers have been conducting these tests at the White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico, disassembling thrusters and inspecting them part by part to gather data. The astronauts have been performing various maintenance tasks and scientific projects aboard the International Space Station during their extended stay. They also regularly return to the Starliner capsule to work through the thruster issues with engineers at ground control. However, the uncertainty and repeated extensions of their mission have raised concerns about the Starliner's reliability. Most of us might think the problem with Boeing Starliner is about reputation, but there is a bigger issue at hand. The Starliner program has been costing millions of dollars for every day of delay. The company has reported additional losses of $125 million, bringing the total losses on the Starliner program to $1.6 billion. It's also important to think about the long-term implications. The long-term losses might be even bigger, potentially reaching billions. Future customers will be very skeptical about the Starliner. Imagine a customer who wants to launch astronauts. Would they pick a company that failed to safely send and return astronauts? Or a company as reliable as SpaceX, which has consistently completed its mission successfully? Of course, they would pick SpaceX. Even Musk commented on this, saying, The world doesn't need another capsule. The Starliner program was part of NASA's commercial crew program, which was initially expected to be a cornerstone in the return of American crewed spaceflights. Boeing was awarded a substantial contract of $4.3 billion to develop and operate the Starliner. In contrast, SpaceX was awarded $2.6 billion for its crew Dragon development. Despite the higher funding, Boeing has faced more significant challenges and delays compared to SpaceX. The goal was to end NASA's reliance on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft for International Space Station crew rotations. However, Boeing's journey has been rocky. Given the current situation, Boeing and NASA are exploring all possible options to safely return the astronauts. While the primary plan is to use the Starliner, contingency plans involving SpaceX's Crew Dragon have been considered. SpaceX's Falcon 9 has just returned to action after a two-week break due to a grounding caused by a failure, sparking optimism in the U.S. aerospace industry. However, the possibility of Dragon rescuing the Starliner crew presents a complicated scenario. The idea of using SpaceX's Crew Dragon to rescue the astronauts currently aboard the Starliner is not only a logistical challenge, but also a significant blow to Boeing's reputation. Boeing and SpaceX have been rivals since NASA awarded them contracts under the Commercial Crew Program. 
SpaceX has successfully launched numerous missions since 2020, while Boeing has struggled with delays and technical issues. Relying on SpaceX for a rescue would be a further embarrassment for Boeing and a clear signal of their operational struggles. NASA has not officially ruled out the possibility of using Crew Dragon. Steve Stick, NASA's commercial crew program manager, stated that they are considering all options, emphasizing that having two different systems, Starliner and Dragon, gives them flexibility. On the other hand, given the geopolitical tensions, seeking help from Russia's Soyuz spacecraft is an unlikely option. Although Soyuz has been a reliable vehicle for decades, the current political climate makes this an undesirable and complex alternative. Additionally, the costs and logistics of coordinating with Roscosmos would add another layer of difficulty and potential delay. NASA's current preference remains to bring the astronauts back using Starliner, provided the issues can be resolved. Many experts believe that Boeing is already receiving special treatment from NASA. The company has been unable to launch this spacecraft without significant issues for more than a decade. If it were another company, NASA likely would have pulled its investment and canceled the program long ago. This special treatment is often attributed to Boeing's extensive lobbying efforts. Boeing has been one of the most well-funded companies under NASA's commercial crew program. The company received a $4.3 billion contract to develop and operate the Starliner, significantly more than the $2.6 billion awarded to SpaceX for its Crew Dragon development. Despite this higher funding, Boeing has struggled with repeated delays and technical problems, whereas SpaceX has successfully completed multiple crewed missions since its first crewed flight in May 2020. The influence of Boeing's lobbying efforts cannot be overstated. The company has spent millions annually on lobbying, with $6.24 million reported in 2024 alone. This has led to perceptions of favoritism and special treatment from NASA, especially given Boeing's ongoing issues with the Starliner program. Musk also has pointed out that Boeing's success in winning contracts despite its technical setbacks is largely due to its armies of lobbyists. This has raised concerns about the fairness and effectiveness of the contract awarding process, particularly in light of Boeing's track record with the Starliner. However, the recent issue with Starliner is so significant that even Boeing's extensive lobbying efforts may not be enough to save the program this time. The Starliner was initially expected to be fully operational by 2025, but given the current progress and ongoing technical challenges, it seems unlikely that Boeing will meet this deadline. Many experts are now skeptical that the spacecraft will even be ready by 2030. By then, SpaceX will likely dominate the commercial spaceflight industry, potentially pushing Boeing out of the game entirely. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.